This video talks about UTI bugs. Now, this pattern of UTI bugs or learning these UTI bugs in this pattern only follows for questions where there is no direct direction of which bug they are talking about. Okay, they're not. We don't know whether they're honing in into a certain bug. We just have to kind of um, come up with the answer from our general knowledge of UTI. So this is the pattern we're going to follow when we don't have a specific direction. If there is a specific direction, then that's the pattern we're going to follow. We're going to hone in on that bug. But this is a generalized picture. So if I asked you, what is the most common cause of UTI in all age groups? It's going to be E. coli. That's the most common cause. What if I say, so I've written right here, Number one cause of uh, UTI is going to be E. coli. What is the number two cause of uh, UTI? That's going to be Staph saprophyticus. What's the third most common cause of UTI? That's going to be Klebsiella. Okay. What if I say now, what's the cause of UTI? What's the, what's the bug for UTI which causes a green metallic sheen on EMB agar? That's going to be our E. coli. What if I say, what's the cause of UTI which is seen in sexually active women who acquired the UTI, who, the UTI was acquired in a, in a community acquired setting? Or what's the most common cause, let me rephrase that sentence, what's the, what's the cause of UTI or what's the bug that's causing the UTI see, that's community acquired seen in sexually active women? In that case, it's going to be staph saprophyticus. And what if I say, what's the third most common cause of UTI? And the third most common cause is going to be Klebsiella. Now, going in on that trend, if I say, what's the cause of UTI, where there's going to, we're going to see very mucoid, large and mucoid capsule. That's going to be our Klebsiella. Now, what if they say, what's the cause of UTI, which are going to be nosocomial and drug resistant. What does nosocomial mean? Nosocomial means that hospital acquired. You were hospitalized for some other reason and you ended up getting this resistant bug. So there is really three bugs that can be nosocomial, okay? Seratia, Pseudomonas, and Enterobacter. These all three are going to be nosocomial and drug resistant. Now, if all of them are nosocomial and drug resistant, how are we going to know which one is which? Now, serratia is the one that's going to cause red pigment. Okay, it's going to cause red pigment. So that's going to differentiate between the two. We know that Pseudomonas causes a fruity smell, right? Fruity smell that is also going to be caused by Pseudomonas. So these are the ways you can differentiate between the three nosocomial drugs. But if we talk about the three nosocomial, drug, nosocomial bugs, and the three nosocomial bugs are serratia, Enterobacter cloacae, uh, and Pseudomonas. Now there is one bug in this population which causes struvite stones, okay? And those are Proteus mirabilis. And these struvite stones are caught, they're also uh, urease, urease positive bug. Now, which of these bugs is going to cause a swarming motility on agar? That's also going to be our protease. Now, let's quickly go over the entire thing really, really fast. So, there is seven UTI bugs which are most common. The number one is E. coli, which is a leading cause of UTI. It causes a green metallic sheen on EMB agar followed by second most common is Staph saprophyticus, which causes um, UTI in sexually active women, but they get it by community. It's community acquired. Uh, followed by Klebsiella. That's a third most common cause of UTI, which causes large, which has large mucoid capsule, and also there's going to be viscous discharge. Serratia is going to produce red, red pigment, and they're going to have no nosocomial and drug resistance. Uh, Enterobacter cloacae, they're also going to be nosocomial and drug resistance. Pseudomonas, they're also going to be nosocomial and drug resistant and they're going to have fruity smell. With Proteus mirabilis, it's going to be urease positive bugs. It's one of the urease positive bugs. They're going to cause struvite stones and they're going to have swarming motility on agar.